How can you believe in God when there is no evidence? The big idea built into this question is that faith in God is belief despite the evidence. It's effectively faith that actually is done so without any evidence. But that is not the Christian understanding of faith, nor is it the biblical understanding of faith. The biblical understanding of faith is a response to reality. It is actually evidence-based belief. It's saying that we believe in God because He actually is. He actually exists, and He is trustworthy. Now, when we look for evidence that helps us believe in God, there are many places we can look to. We can look to the sciences. We can look to morality. We can look to history. We can look to stories of Jesus Christ, this, the story of a God made flesh come to us in first century Palestine. Now, it's, to that I want to turn for a moment here. There's a story told of Jesus Christ and his closest friends. They were in a boat on the Sea of Galilee. And these guys, you have to think of it, were professional fishermen. They knew the water very well. But in this particular story, they were caught in a tempestuous storm. They were afraid for their lives. They look to Jesus. They call out to him and they're crying out to him. And he wakes up. He, interestingly, he is asleep in this boat. They wake him up. He gets up and he calms the wind and the waves. Effectively, he has control over the weather. The response? Well, these guys look to each other. I imagine these guys sort of huddling together and looking at each other and saying, look, who is this man? Who is this guy? Now, here's the point. This is a clue. This was a, a signpost. This was a hint to these guys that this man, Jesus, was more than just a teacher or a rabbi. They're thinking only God has control over the waves, the weather, the wind. They say, who is this man? Now, when we're looking for evidence for God, we're asking the same types of questions. We're looking for signposts, hints, clues that tell us this is God. Now, the, 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 the important thing to note here about Christianity is that it might not be one piece of evidence like this, but it's evidence taken together cumulatively. And we put all the evidence together, and I think there is very compelling evidence that says we can have faith in God, and it's a belief that corresponds to reality. So trust in God is not done so despite the evidence. It's done because of the evidence.